this is a little bit of um, backtracking to the auto trace stuff, but it might be um, helpful for your for your workbook work. Um, when you have a, uh, an auto trace done, there's a really really uh, good way to change the the colors. And the reason I'm showing you this is because one of the things that you've probably been talked to about is um, iterations, doing one thing and then doing multiple copies of it with slight um, variations. This is a good way to do the color, and what it will do is very quickly, it'll give you a whole lot of other options to um, stick in a workbook, you know, to add to that that workbook. So what we're looking for is swatches and color guide. Um, you'll find these things up under the uh, up under the window, color guide, and swatches a bit further a bit further down. So what I can do is in the swatches, you can see I've got a whole lot of uh, colors here actually they look they look like the same color swatch so I'm just gonna get rid of those there we go and you'll see down the bottom we've got a whole lot of options here and one of them on the left hand side uh, deals with kind of color options so if we go uh, oh, let's try Renaissance see what that's like It'll give us a whole lot of um, uh, swatches here, so I can grab I can grab some of those. We'll grab this top one, let's drag it over, chuck it in there, and it's added to the added to the swatches. Uh, foods. Uh, let's have a look at fruit. Yeah, there's some bright ones there. Got to chuck in. And you can keep going like this, grabbing a few uh, different sort of uh, systems. Uh, what am I going to go for? Uh, I'll try cool, a whole lot of um, cold shades here. And I'm just going to go with that at the moment so I can close that. The swatches, close that. And what I can do here is if I drag around an image, if I don't want to see all those um, marks, this is just a tip, you can go Command H, and it won't give all those lines over the over the middle. Command H, I'll take it back. It doesn't matter because as soon as I go to the color guide, it kind of gets rid of that anyway. So if I click on this, I'll see there's like a little color wheel down the bottom. What you'll find is you can select it there, or I can come up the top here and once I've selected something, you'll find it up here, Recolor Artwork. If I click on it, it brings this huge um, menu into play. And the way it works is I've got these options down the side. I can still, I can still add more, like what I can find is that um, uh, under here I've got some other options, shades, complementary to, uh, if I like something from here, pentagram, click it, and I can um, add it as a group by hitting that folder, adds it in here, and you can see as soon as I've clicked on it, click on any of these, the way it's kind of recoloring the, um, the artwork, so I quite liked what was happening with um, uh, this one now. Uh, actually, I'll pick one that's a bit more full on. I'll go for um, I'll go for brights. Now, the first thing you can do here is under auto, you can limit the number of colors. I'm going to take it down to three, two. It's becoming almost um, monochromatic, or put it back up to all. Now. Down here, there's three options here. If I click through this one on the left, it swaps these around, it randomizes them and gives me other color selections. So let's go, I go four. So it's a little bit plainer over here. And very quickly, it's gonna give you these kind of random, uh, random options. If I like something like this, the next one along, 
deals with the saturation and the brightness. So if I click it, it's trying to play with that saturation. Now the other thing I've got here is if I say click on this color and I click the third little icon along with the magnifying glass, it will isolate it. It will show me where that color is and only that color in the image. These uh, sliders down here will let you play with the colors up here. I can switch that, um, switch that back. So the purple that I've got here that's replacing the brown, you can see it changing with the, um, the green. Now it's going to the uh, orange. You can play with all of this. Come back here and randomize. Now the other, um, the other option you've got here as well, you've still got all of this. We can come in and, and select any of those. Uh, color groups, but if we go to edit, this one's really good as well, like this option here you can see it's actually linked, and then with the cross through it it's unlinked. When it's linked, the two little lines on either side, if I move one of these, it moves all of them in relation to each other. So the main color here is blue, but everything you'll see as I rotate it is trying to keep the same, the same kind of proportions. Now I can unlink it, and I can move all of these things. So here if I just move the blue into the yellow, the bulk of that blue is going to change, uh, change color. I've got a plus and a minus, so if I click the minus, I can get rid of some of these colors. Head back to link, they're all moving in um, proportion. Again, you only it doesn't preview live, so as soon as you let go, you get the preview. Um, plus, I can come in here and I can click a new color. I want to move it independently again I unlock it and can move it around we have our sliders you can see if we move the slider here you can see the circle uh, moving around there's another funny um, option here the line one the display bars and you can kind of swap the order of the bars around. So the main color here is purple, so I can change that to um, uh, blue by swapping that, or maybe I want it as this kind of orange or yellow color. Uh, it's, um, it's easy when there's so few colors, it becomes a little more complicated when there's um, a lot more. Uh, this next one along, it just gives a smooth version of those colors, not the um, staggered one. Probably makes it a bit more um, uh, subtler with these changes. So I can go, okay, yes, and then I've got a quick color variation there. Grab the next, grab the next one, and uh, citrus. Yeah, uh, there's an iteration, you know, it's not too uh, dissimilar to the others, but you can see very, very quickly you can get these um, variations and you can go in and uh, edit them afterwards with a lot of uh, uh, subtlety. Uh, let's go cold, put like um, that one. So here's, a, um, <clears throat> here's an example here, as so I can go through, if I grab this, um, either I can go OK and then I can go in and select a color, but see how there's that black through the here? We've got that, we've got that here. Click yes, and I'm gonna say, okay, double click on. Oh, 
down here or let me bring up the color picker and I'll say okay well I actually um, like blue color see so it's kind of matching and it's a wee bit um, a wee bit darker I can um, play with it around with this here so change the color so you can get it to just you know, a color that matches and it doesn't stand out so much as the um, as the black I go okay onto the um, whoops let's see onto the last one last one here uh, Right, let's randomize through there. Yeah, okay, I'll go with um, I'll go with that one. In this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go, I'll try playing with the saturation. Yep, I like that one, I'll go okay. Uh, in this case, if I didn't want to do it through that um, uh, color guide, I can do things like uh, this, where I can grab that um, color, I can go select, same, uh, fill color, and it grabs all of those black options. If there was more black through the rest of the um, the other pictures, then that would get selected as well. But now I can actually come in here and say, okay, instead of um, instead of black, let's give it another. Uh, another color, I can go get the eyedropper tool, command I, pick the purple, and say, okay, so I'm, maybe I'm going to darken that up slightly. There we go. And play around with things that way. But um, you can see straight away, um, very, very good way to quickly get iterations using Illustrator.